Hello and welcome everybody. Today I would like to talk about a specific topic and I want to make a talk video about one topic and this is how to not market your game. I would like, <laughs> actually I would like to make a topic how to market your game but I haven't found the right answer to that topic so I have to stick to this topic how to not market your game and I show you some examples I tested out already which didn't work out so maybe you can learn from my experience and at least you know what you should not do in order to market your game. So enjoy the video. The first thing I want to talk about is social media in general. Everyone is saying of course you have to use social media to market your game and I think it's, uh, it is true so it isn't a failure to have social media but actually you need to have a strategy behind it and how to drive traffic to your social media. Just creating your social media presence in Facebook, Twitter or Instagram isn't enough at all and I can tell you from my experience I of course have done it also and I as you can see I have also a site for Timber Tales where I have posted a lot but all the interaction and the, the reach I have are very little so I have 94 person who liked it and most of them are my friends and family who actually don't even care about the game. They just like the game because yeah they want to support me in person or just know me and that's the reason why they accepted the liked one. But they are actually not interested in the content at all and they aren't gamers. And what we want to reach is we want to have gamers who actually want to play our game, who want to discuss about our game and people who likes to buy our game. So this is our main goal in marketing. We want to yeah, we want to have higher sales on Steam or whatever. That's what our social media should be about. We want to inform our community. We need to build up a community. And I'm not sure if, if the community existing of your friends and family, that's the right way. Of course, it will help to grow your community at first. But I stuck at that point when I had invited all my friends and family. It just stayed on that point and I haven't any growth after that. So I hardly failed on the social media aspects and my conclusion for that is on Facebook I don't invest much time anymore because I don't reach out people who likes the game or who would like to play the game even. On Twitter we have a little bit uh, different story which is uh, but in the result the same. So my Twitter account has quite a lot of followers as you can see I have something like 1000 followers. But the problem is most of my followers on my Twitter account are other indie developers and they of course like to follow me if I follow them back or sometimes they follow me <coughs> and I don't even have to follow them back. But they aren't also my community. They don't want to play my game. They don't want to sp support me in general. They maybe like what I do and they also maybe like my game. But I'm not sure if they want to buy the game or want to be a part of the game or even yeah make some suggestion how I could improve the game send me some feedback whatever so it's Twitter is of course a good place to network with other indie developers and I mainly use it also for that so uh, you can have some quite interesting talks to other indie game developers and so on and that's the right place for it here but to market your game it's quietly hard if you don't have uh, the right community right here what you want to have is some players and I don't know how to reach them on Twitter so yeah I can just give you the advice just to create the Twitter account and network with under other indie developers is okay if you want to but I couldn't find out here some gamers who are interested in my game at all. So for me Twitter failed as well and I have some other aspects here as on Facebook but I can't yeah, reach any higher sales with Twitter at all. And the last channel I want to go over is my Instagram channel. On my Instagram channel I have the biggest loss in time investment I would say. I posted a lot of pictures of my game, what I'm working on and so on. And I had quite some some follower here on Instagram but yeah actually there was no conversion at all. I don't even have really good talks or comments on the pictures I posted. I tried a lot of different pictures. So I have a lot of my in-game stuff, I have a lot of my videos I've made, I have a lot of retro stuff, I also posted a lot of uh, my personality and so on. I tried very very different approaches but none of them showed some 
really good success in the end. Yeah, I'm not sure how to use Instagram at least. So I can tell you just posting some pictures if they aren't the best quality isn't even worth it. Um, I have some likes on some pictures of course and some of them has more than others but the engagement overall is quite low and I even have no conversion about the Instagram channel. So Instagram failed for me hard as well and you need a lot of time to invest it. It's always cool to have some screenshot Saturday related hashtag where you show some in-game stuff you are working on and if you want to present your game it, it can work and also maybe my games are just shit or aren't uh, interesting on the pictures if you have some really outstanding artwork or whatever. Um, I don't say that Instagram can't work but for me with a quite yeah, I would say average game and average artwork. It wasn't outstanding at all and I wasn't able to make any engagement or any success here on uh, Instagram and so I also quitted this channel and don't use it anymore. So I cannot tell you how to make it. I can just tell you Instagram failed for me hard. Twitter wasn't very good for me and also Facebook wasn't a good channel to market my games. Just to have the counterpart in this video, yeah, where I'm actually quite successful on social media is on my YouTube channel. There I have some more followers and it's also growing with some um, videos I'm posting. But there is a, just another level of quality and I also post a lot of developer guides. So most of the followers are also other indie developers and aren't even players. They want to play my game. So I specialized a bit... Uh, on guiding or showing other indie developer how to develop games on YouTube. And that's working for me, but it isn't very related to my game I'm actually working on. Where I have some better success were on Reddit and some forums, of course. If you find your niche or your target audience on Reddit and forums, you have the best way to attract people and maybe channel them through your social media, but that also costs a lot of time and you also have to be yourself there and you have to explain a lot and you have to write a lot and just invest a lot of time. That could be maybe a way to market your game but I can't give you an advice in general here. So the second channels I want to talk about are my websites. So of course I have a website for every game I've made. So uh, there is the Timber Tales one, I have the Flat Cat one and I have also a website for Space Unicorns. So these are my three games I have released and all of them of course have a website. So on Timber Tales I've added a buy now button where you can actually buy the game DRM free and uh, it's much cheaper than on Steam for example. So I will tell you the truth, in two years I have sold Timber Tales over my website exactly one time. So as you can see everyone is saying of course you need a, a website for your game and I even think it's very very important because um, you have to describe your game, you have a description, you have some screenshots. Also for the press it's uh, quite interesting and uh, yeah you will be found on search engines etc. But yeah the truth for me is I read through all these guides where everyone is saying have your website, build it up like this, uh, put in your most keywords and make it more SEO friendly so that you will be found that you will be found on search engines. I do that from time to time and I always review them, always update them, make the screenshots better. Uh, but in the end I have to say I have nearly to none views at all. We can check a little bit in the statistics if you are interested. So I don't make a big deal out of my statistics. So you can of course uh, see them. So if we go back one year, I have 388 visitors over one year. I have one sale with 167 <laughs> euro. And uh, yeah, you can a little bit seeing of my details here in the statistics. But overall I have like 11 visitors in one week. And I also do some uh, search engine optimization and stuff like that. Uh, but I wasn't able to get my website ahead or yeah, to uh, generate some sales over that. And the same goes also for the other two websites. So also for Flat Fat Cat and for Space Unicorns I have nearly to none viewers at all and nobody is actually searching for my game. So of course I, I understand the importance of the website of my game and I also understand the importance of I want to sell the game over my channels instead of Steam or Itch.io or whatever. But in the end 
it didn't work out for me and I don't have any clue how to make it in, a, in the right way. So yeah, that's how to not market your game. Um, I can't tell you as I said how to make it right, but I can show you what didn't work out for me so far. For my other two games, I don't sell them over my website, but you just have the links um, to get on Steam, App Store or whatsoever. And it's also quite prominent on the top of the website. So I hope all of them will find a way through them. But yeah, the traffic is quite low over my website. The conversion is much lower and I don't have any clue why that is. Another thing which goes hand in hand with my website is the newsletter. Of course I have the subscription function on my website to the newsletter. Actually my email list uh, covers 190 subscribers on them. So I guess at 190 newsletter subscriber over two years where my homepage is up. So I usually send out some newsletter over that, but the conversion also there is quite low. I don't have very much people who are subscribed on my website. Everyone is talking about you need to have the subscription for your newsletter. You have to share a newsletter. This is your best audience you can get because these are people who are interested in your games. I know that I also send them some emails, but my conversions are super, super low. So actually, I think I'm doing the right thing, but it don't work out for me. So uh, this is another point I can show out here what's not worked for me and how to not market your games. The last thing I want to talk about today is my Patreon account. Patreon is another great example for me how to not market my games. Um, I built it up my Patreon and filled it with a lot of information, with a lot of goals, with a lot of tiers you can support me. I try to make really really great postings such as uh, more insights behind the scenes, uh, why I go in a direction I do with the development and stuff like that. I try to be very very clearly to my Patreons and offer a lot of behind the scenes. I try to post very very regularly and actually what should i say it didn't work out for me of course i have to praise every one of my seven patreons and i'm really really thankful of for them and i appreciate this 25 dollars a month uh, a lot so don't get me wrong on this thing but also there i have to say um, my seven patreons aren't fans of the games they are actually some friends of myself and yeah, I appreciate their support a lot and they are heroes for me because uh, they invest their hard earned money into my games or into my Patreon account in general. And I, I am very, very thankful for that. But I can't get anyone out of the community who actually liked my games to become a Patreon. And that should be the goal in general. You want to have your gamers to support you on Patreon and not just your family and friends. So actually, even if I have some Patreons and I earn some money over my Patreon account, I have to say it it's not working out for me like it should. Yeah, and that's why Patreon is another and where I can say that's not how to market your game. Yeah, so I hope you liked some examples of myself where it didn't work out in a way it maybe should or it maybe could. I'm re really, really open for feedback. If you have suggestions, if you are, yeah, want to drop me some hints or comments, please do it below the video. Please tell me if you like this kind of format of the video. If you like my videos in general, please leave a subscribe. Maybe YouTube is working for me sometime. That would be great. And I hope to see you within the next videos. I'm also creating some Goda tutorials in the meantime. So there will be following up some content on my channel. So I hope to see you again and see ya on the next video. Bye.